This is like the busiest synagogue in the, in the community is that on a daily basis. This synagogue has been here since I think 67. Like a lot of neighborhoods in, in you know, Chicago is cyclical, you know, yeah, some have their ups and downs, but it's been an anchor for many, many years and hopefully for many years to come. We're here to stay. That's right. We're here to stay. And I was speaking to Shalom about, the, about having the meeting. Shalom right away said, you're a good guy. We're, you're a guy we should meet with. And so he said, uh, he wants to know why, why we're meeting. I said, oh, I guess we'll find out when we get here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I find myself back here in retirement and um, in this neighborhood, neighborhood that I kind of know from the 50s, and saw a lot of its strengths and saw a lot of its challenges and couldn't square the equation. And I uh, decided to get involved and try to make something happen. It's not just for the Jewish community. We see this is good for the whole community. I think it's good for the neighborhood. It's good for the city. Mm -hmm. I'm a product of Westridge. I'm born and raised Clinton uh, Elementary School, uh, Von Steuben for High School U, I know Chicago. Uh, uh, public school graduate and I'm proud of Westridge. It has a lot of good positive things and I think a lot of potential to grow and develop itself. I think this community is a hidden gem in the city of Chicago. I see the community from so many different viewpoints yes. and it's fascinating to me to see how many different concerns there are and how many similar concerns there are. My, my life, my family is, is here in the neighborhood. I'm very focused on economic <coughs> development and try to organize the community around shared priorities. Each opportunity I've had to serve, I, I've, you know, answered that call, and this has been the greatest call to date, which is a call from the mayor to say, will you serve in this capacity? Well, I can't help grow neighborhoods and businesses in Chicago if I'm not in the community myself. I'm your banker, I'm your investor, and I'm your advocate. I put about a billion dollars uh, in different banks around the city. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she tried to tee you up earlier. Um, Let me give you my account number. <laughs> <laughs> so there's sort of three pools of capital that I invest a total of about $7 billion, uh, really of your money. And then I sit on five pension boards. Those five boards uh, manage about $25 billion. Being a good steward of those assets means being a good steward of your money. And we'll have a strategy to invest domestically to make sure we're not missing great opportunities in Chicago. I read your 90-day plan. Very happy to see what you put out. How would you invest in community projects otherwise? Yeah. And we know the handful of areas where investment is needed the most and can generate the best opportunity for return. My role here is to be a partner and to provide that capacity where it does, just doesn't exist today. I love what you said a moment ago that, that you view your role partially as an investor, partially as a banker, partially as an advocate. Yeah. And as an advocate, uh, as you know, community leaders in, in, in this neighborhood, we we need we need more attention. I, I want to be held accountable, and I think more people in elected office should ask for that. And we, we need more done, and uh, hopefully we can find ways to work together yeah. around that. And, and here, where you're having trouble, and try to help your office get things done, and we'd love to be able to, we won't be shy, and speak up where we're having trouble. So how can we help? 